everyone and welcome back to Budget with B. I hope you've been well. I'm trying once again another angle today. Um, so please, please let me know what you think of this. I don't know what's better, if it's more zoomed out, if it's better or if it's closer in, it's better. So just let me know. And I've actually got my candle going at the moment, which is so nice. Um, so today is going to be a uh, cash stuffing for week two of June. And we will be stuffing, I believe, $520. Let's get that out. And it's just here. How have all been? It's um, a lot of crazy weather around the country at the moment. Luckily, we're okay here. We did have some flooding earlier in the year, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, but yeah, I've just been working. My husband has been doing his studies, um, and he's going really well with that. So that's exciting. So let's just count the money. So we've got 100, 2, 3, 54, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 10, 15, 20. So 520. A bit of a bigger cash stuffing today. Um, and we're going to be putting a bigger chunk of this towards one thing just because we need to <laughs> um yeah how have your you all been how's your budgets going i'd love to hear down below i have been trying to make my videos a little bit more interesting but i feel like they're a bit boring so i'm sorry <laughs> but i've been watching everyone else's videos whose are great um Really enjoying that. Still catching up though on everyone's videos, so I'll get there. Okay, so what should we start with? Let's start with the big chunk, which is going into sinking funds. And we're going to go into holiday, and we're going to be putting 400 of this um, into here which is awesome um, because this is due middle of this month and we need to pay $579 um, to pay off the accommodation. We've already paid, I think, 230 of it. So this is for, oh, by the way, this is for a week away at the end of, well, start of July to the beach. And we're going for like, I think, seven nights at an Airbnb and then half of it is just ourselves and the other half is with our friends. So we need to add 400. So one, two, three, 54. So that's a big, big chunk going in there. So we now have in here 100 in the bank, two, three, 450, 500 and five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And then coins, 29. So 529, which means we're only $50 away, which is awesome. And then anything after that will just go to um, spending, which we won't hopefully need too much. But now I'm actually filming this on the 7th. So I only filmed my last cash stuffing yesterday, but I might be uploading this a bit later just because I don't know if I'll have another video to have uploaded next week if that makes sense this envelope is so dirty from the last challenge that was in there the thing keeps popping off but that's okay all right so let's just move this back um we're also going to be adding to christmas which is great because we haven't been adding to this so we're going to add 20 so we now have 150 in the bank 170, 190, 200. So 200, and that means we can fill out one icon. Let me just try and find the pen. This might be the pen that Josh stole from me for something he was doing. <laughs> so I might, one sec. Oh, sorry, I'm just leaning underneath my table. I'm just going to use this orangey colour, and I'll fix that up later when I find that pen. So that's good, 200 in Christmas, and it's June. So 
that's all right. Anything else in here? No, nothing else in this one for today. Um, next, I'm going to go into our everyday binder because we're going to add 20 to gifts. It is my mum and my dad's birthday coming up. And I've got a bit of an idea on what I want to get them. It shouldn't be too expensive, but um, I'll need a bit of money. So 20, 25, 30 in there now. Which is good. Good start. What else? What else? What else? Next is annuals. So let's go into there. Oops, sorry. Okay, so our annual binder is getting some love. We're going to graduation, which is for Josh's graduation from his degree. And we're not sure if he's going to do, well, he's not sure if he wants to do the ceremony yet, but either way, I just want to save some cash for him to do that or to do something else to celebrate. So we're going to add 30 in today. So 20, 30. So let's put that in. And then we can mark off 30 on here. So let's do this 10 and this 20. So we've now got 50, 70, 80, 85. Still needing a bit more in there, but that's at least something. And then I'm going to put 25 because Josh and I are both getting 25 each of this money. And I'm going to put his into here, which is for his F1 fund for next year. So 10, 20, 25. I might swap these two fives for another 10. So he's got 30 in there now. And that's the first icon because each one is 25. Let's do a little tick. So that's at least something towards that. Okay, and then the last 25 is for my spending. So 10, 15, 20, 25. So I think I'll go into challenges. Let's see what we can do in there first. I did move roll it up into here for a new coin challenge. I just thought that might be fun. I'm not going to add to these. No. No, I added save 100 back in here. Do you have rock, paper, scissors? I also scratched the first one off this challenge, which is a 15. So I could do that. Or I might see what I get on... Rock, paper, scissors. Is that risky? Let's try. Okay. 15. Classic. Why does that always happen when you don't want it to happen? And then when you do have the money, it gives you a five. But that's how it rolled. Okay. So 15 going into here. going on okay like that um 15 so we have 20 30 35 40 in there now and i think i'll leave the rest of the challenges and i'm going to add this 10 to my sinking funds binder. I've got ten dollars left. Um, oh, this candle smells so good. It smells like um, raspberry lollies. <laughs> so nice. I'm gonna go into savings, and I'm gonna add five into here. I try and add five into this pot or this envelope every time I stuff any money um, for myself. So 350 in the bank, 370, 390, 4, 410, 415, 420, 425, 430. So 
430 now in my savings. And this last five, I'm going to put actually into travel. If I want to. So we now have 50 in the bank, 60, 70. Long way off, but that's okay. So that's another five. So we just need 30 more dollars and we can have our first hundred in here. Cool. Awesome. So that's that. So it's a bit of a quick video again. I feel like I've been doing a lot of quick videos because I don't have that much extra money at the moment to put into um, sinking funds. So it's mostly just like our challenges each fortnight. Um, but hopefully that might change in the next month to few months time. It sort of depends. But it was good to be able to put a little bit more in today that's really good to boost like gifts and christmas and stuff like that that hasn't had anything for quite a while now i feel um i also have a bit of a plan so as you know or you might know if you've watched some of my older videos we have a um new car fund which is in here um new car and we have 1500 which is like a deposit sort of thing um, and we're actually going to be getting a car, hopefully, it's not a new car, it's a secondhand car, in July or hopefully July, maybe August, hopefully not August, that's a long way away still. Um, but it should be around 6000 I'm hoping, like not a very expensive car in the scheme of cars. Um, and so we'll be paying that back. Um, and we also have the money in here, which is for the insurance and red dose. So we have, yeah, 250 in there at the moment. Um, usually when you buy a car, it might have a couple of months left on the red dose. So red dose, I think is about 800. And insurance, I'm guessing is gonna be about 1,000. So 1800. So what is the 250? 1500. Hmm. But we probably will do these payments like the three months of rego and the monthly insurance um, until we save up enough to purchase the annual cost of that, um, which we do with our other car at the moment. So Yes, so that's sort of the plan there, but we will also need to be pay, paying, um, saving up, like to pay back the car. So I was thinking I might even use this $500 savings challenge um, that I got from Budget with Sean. I really wanted to find a use for this and because I really enjoy it. And I think this would be a good way um, to do that. So to get a big chunk off the car, especially if it's like a $6,000 car, $500 of that is quite um, a big chunk, you know, like it's one twelfth. So yeah, that's sort of the plan. Um, let me know how your savings goals are going at the moment. Like I know they change and please don't feel bad about them changing. Like um, at the start of the year, I really wanted to focus on adding a thousand to our emergency fund and I do still want to do that. But we have had to dip into the emergency fund and I sort of felt bad about that. But at the same time, like, that's what it's there for. <laughs> and like, yeah, like I'm, I'm just really focusing on um, trying to realize that's what it's there for. It, I didn't have to worry about it. We had the money. We still have some money in the emergency fund and that's okay. So, yeah, I hope. Um, that makes sense and I'm not just waffling on. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you again soon in my next one. All right. Bye.